So this is a huge simulator, and it's basically a great big freezer, and it's got a solid ice floor here at the University Health Network. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be testing out boots to see how they perform on the ice. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming at all. First pair of boots I'm gonna test out are the pair of North Face boots. They were great, no slipping at all. Off to a good start. Okay, so we took it up to a five degree angle. <laughs> now we're going to seven. <laughs> that's fun. It's not fun if you're falling for real, but that's fun when you have a harness. We're testing them to their maximum. It doesn't mean that because they're not going to make it at that seven degree angle that they're not a great boot. <laughs> and that they won't perform under nor normal circumstances. I'm really surprised that these become <laughs> Next up is a pair of boots from Roots. I'm really excited to see how these do because they look like they have really great treads. To get perspective, this is a pretty decent incline. I'm slipping a little bit. You wouldn't go walking down your street with this much ice to the coffee shop on this much of an incline. Um, and so, whoop! <laughs> Let's do it. Nine. <laughs> that didn't go so well. <laughs> 12 degrees! <laughs> it's more about the incline for me now, not the boots. Everybody knows the classic Uggs, and they probably aren't that great on ice, but Ugg has new grips on their classic style that are supposed to perform better. And we're going all the way to the max on the 15. Let's try it. <laughs> That's not, that was me. Okay, we gotta try this proper because. Okay, now. <laughs> Now we're slipping, but it made it. Like, I mean, that's that's very impressive and totally surprising. I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect them to perform this well. So what a great surprise. Okay. We sent her out there to test it for us. She joins us now in studio. That was cool. The yeah. very first time I like I had a harness on of course and everything and the very first time that I actually slipped it is it's ice and that's the danger of ice you think you're walking fine and suddenly your feet are out from under you yes. and you fall so it took me by surprise but instead of like being scared I giggled like that was my reaction it's like I, a nervous giggle nervous giggle yeah, exactly yeah. I knew I was safe I was totally in a, a good facility doing that well, I like that you're going to tell us, like, give us yeah. your intel now, because yeah. one bad wipeout in the winter months, and you could be out for several weeks. For sure. So help us out with the footwear. Okay, I am. And this is all about time and place. So a couple of things. One, the boots that you're thinking about, about buying or needing to buy, what are you using them for? If yeah. you're not walking, you know, on a slippery sidewalk to go get your, you know, morning coffee every morning or something like that, yeah. then you might be looking for more warmth, warmth, excuse me, right. than other. And also, I want to really make it clear that this isn't about the brands it's about each style of boot I'm gonna tell you what these boots are okay but uh, it doesn't mean the whole brand isn't great and you'll see what I mean by that in a minute okay so the very first boot are these ones they're the North Face they're the women's Shalista four tall boots they're lovely we're gonna put all the links to the boots up on the website too so okay. if you can't remember that long name so these ones were fantastic I know you're thinking already all these laces you're like oh I am not Forget doing it. those laces up every time I come <laughs> in and out from walking the dog or whatever yeah one of the things I loved about these boots is that once you do the laces up they actually slip on and off so you get the look and they just slide on and off and I think that was so oh so the you ease. don't have to do up a you don't lace have every to time. do them good. and undo them every time they're totally totally waterproof good which is really important obviously yeah and they're wildly warm. Ooh. In the experience of the testing, I found these the most warm. Okay. okay? But this isn't about warmth. I just wanted it's to give that slipping. little tidbit. This is about slipping. So when it came to that, these ones made it to five degrees. So okay. we started it totally flat. Yeah. Generally speaking, then we went to three, five, seven, fifteen. Yeah, okay? fifteen's hard. Now, but... once it got like above um, maybe about three to five like I'm going uphill by the mm -hmm. time I got to 15 like it was it was a body effort to go up so I really want to put it in perspective yeah we really challenged these boots okay so I think these did fantastic getting to five that's good. actually very good oh, okay. okay yeah let's right. consider that I want to make sure we all know that so these definitely get a pass good. okay these ones we move on here bogs how cute are these these are mm -hmm. like a little sweater finish okay they're the bogs Arctica knit women's snow boots they're all right called. okay totally waterproof as well seamless bogs are fantastic for stuff of that they've got a switch sweat wicking insides Ooh. so uh, they're furry all the way in the inside with this faux fur so nice. super comfortable super super cozy crazy cute yeah well obviously I'm not gonna pull boots that are cute <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, please. Be cute and warm. Yeah, right? That, you have to have it all. Um, so when it came to the performance, these ones made it to five. Yes. I used them at seven, and I started to slip a little bit in these. So still, that's considered a good rating, okay? Yeah. These are also a pass. Can I see the bottoms? Yes, for sure show you can. Show us the bottoms. So just show the camera that. I'm interested to see what kind of treads uh, we're yeah. dealing with here. So, so this made it up to a This seven. is an important point. I'm glad you brought it up. These are really obviously very heavy duty treads. It's good. Mm -hmm. If you're worried about the slipping, look what the the material the tread is made from. So these ones are good ones, but let's go back to the North Face for a second to see how these little snowflakes are, are shaped on the bottom of them. Yep. Those are actually made of a special material that reacts to the cold and creates a grip. Oh. So learn that. Like That's talk cool. to your salespeople when you're picking out the boots when it comes to the yes. um, the slip factor. Okay. Okay. So now we're moving on to these. <laughs> Those crazy are really cute. cute. Way, way, way cute. Yeah, these are really roots. cute. Women's Nordic winter boot. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're full uh, full grain leather, waterproof as well. Good. You've got insulation. It comes with two different insoles, so you can wear them on a more mild day and then a warmer insole for the warmer day. Good. So I like that flexibility with yeah. the different thickness of socks. Um, and then when it came to performance in these, these ones went all the way to seven degrees oh yeah and look at how cute they are yeah and remember seven degrees isn't the temperature that's the angle that's the of angle. It, right yeah and so it went to uh, all the way to there so they're warm cute and shorter so if you don't want that big tall boot this, yes. these are a really cute option for the short they're also patriotic those are maple leafs yes they are just thought I'd point that out yeah go. that's kind of cute those leafs are saving you they really are right yeah, yeah they're very very well made roots we all know that about yes. them right so all these brands really okay the I'm next one is to see this one this Sorrel. is a brand people love yes it's a brand people love it's a great brand Mm -hmm. This boot specifically is the women's caribou boot. Okay. okay. Now they're on the on the bigger side when it comes to like the the uh, weight chunky. of the boot. Chunky. Thank you. Good word. Mm -hmm. When it came to performance, though, not so much. Fail. I yeah. slipped walking flat. Ooh. I know, but now I want to re reiterate that's not the Sorel brand. They have yeah. other boots that might perform better. Yes. These are the ones we chose because they're the originals and the most popular. Yeah. And uh, they did not perform the best. Okay. No doubt for other functions, for snowmobiling or for other types warmth of things, or whatever. Warmth, you're in it. Yeah. But when it comes to safety for the slipping, they didn't do great. Okay. Good to know. Now, these last two ones here are both Ugg boots. Okay? okay. We wanted to do both because I actually took a survey on my Instagram when I was looking for boots and asked all my followers, hey guys, you know, what's the warmest boot out there? Yeah. Holy cow, you ask a bunch of women that live in a cold climate about boots, <laughs> they, they, they have opinions. In. They, they have opinions. In. These ones came in wildly popular. So they're the Ugg okay. Adirondack boot. All right. Okay. That you can wear it. Good. You can flip this up. You can wear them high or low. Yeah. Waterproofing, shearling lining, of course, because they're Uggs. They're rated to minus 32 for warmth. Very and that's good. what I asked my followers about. Like, was it warmth? Yeah. Minus, excuse me, minus 32 Celsius, minus not 32. plus. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> right. Um, and when it came to the testing of the ice, yeah. failed on Fail. flat. Failed on flat. Failed on flat. Oh. So this is the example. Very warm. Very, 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 very warm. Slippy. So this is time and place. Got it. Okay. Now we're going to go to the other rugs. Everybody recognizes these as their classic, right? Yep. A lot of people have them. Well, Uggs have updo updated their classic. This is the Ugg Classic Short Waterproof Arctic Grip Boots. Okay. okay. Got them from Mountain Equipment Co-op, mm -hmm. but they're Ugg. These ones are waterproof now. Nice. They have a grip sole called... Uh, Vibram Arctic Grip. Okay, okay. so we so saw you that see in the these tape. blue lines. Yeah, yeah. Those are made of that reactive material, like the uh, North Face boots that they grip the ice. Yeah, they're shearling lines, so they're going to be crazy warm. So really, they're ticking a lot of boxes here. Yeah. How did they perform on ice, though? We went all the way to 15 degrees with them. <gasps> now I know. I know. I know. You can. <laughs> I know. We were what? What? I'm yeah. shocked. Floored, 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 floored. Honestly, okay. it blew my mind. Now, I slipped a little bit on the 15 degrees. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's 15. I'm You're climbing up a mountain. A mountain. <laughs> it's ridiculous, right? But the So we did it to 12. We wanted to see how far they would be 100%, and they were 100% at 12. I walked like I was going to Starbucks. I like, can't it was believe nothing. that. That's yeah. amazing. Really, really, really that is impressed. incredible. Yeah. And then the very, I know everyone's like, blah, blah, blah. I know, I know, I know, shocking. Now, I don't want to tell everybody to go buy new winter boots. If you have boots you love, they're warm, but they're not great on ice or a yeah. style that you like or whatever, there's an option of these and they're spikes. And oh, what they do good. is they hook on the front of your toe of your existing boots yeah. and on the heel. And if I turn them over, can you see they have little spikes on the bottoms yeah. of them? 
With these ones, I went all the way up to 15 degrees as well. Oh, amazing. So you don't have to go buy a brand new pair of boots. If you have a pair you love, yes. stick with them, and you can grab these on Amazon. Oh, really good yeah, to know. Yeah, lots of places, yeah. And they're just called spikes? Yep. You pop okay. them on and good. pop them off. This was a good little test. I love that. Good, right? Thank you.